Hey team, welcome to Machine Monday. Uh, today's gonna be a little bit different because you're gonna be in the machine and I'm gonna take you through how to perform a conventional deadlift, okay? Um, conventional deadlift, predominantly using hamstrings, glutes, and lower back, okay? But the difference between a straight leg deadlift and a conventional deadlift is we're gonna come right the way down to the floor, which gives us a little bit of quad initiation every time we reset, okay? Um, when we're performing a deadlift, we really wanna focus on that form, getting a good, efficient technique so that we can lift heavier uh, and get more out of the exercise. So when we're talking through a conventional deadlift, I'm gonna get you to go shins right the way up to the bar and we're really gonna focus on our setup. So in this first attempt, we're not even gonna lift. I just want you to work on that setup, maybe even record yourself, use the mirrors around you and check out your position. So shins up to the bar, you're gonna go weight right the way through the midfoot, knees always are tracking the toes and my big toes are also locked in. So I'm nice and balanced, okay? Now, depending on your mobility, we're looking to keep that shin line nice and vertical right up to the bar. Hands come just outside the hips. Okay, now you're gonna look at the placement of my hips. Now, I don't wanna be too high here. Even though I'm maintaining a straight back, that's giving me a lot of hamstring activation. So I'm gonna come down to about horizontal. So the fold through the hips leaves me with a horizontal line. I'm gonna pull those shoulder blades back and down. So I'm actually engaging my lats here. Okay, and figuratively, it's like bending the bar. Now I want you to hold this position, keep the tension. I'm already pulling out of the bar, so I'm creating tension upwards. Now this sound that you may or may not be able to hear, we shouldn't be able to hear it because I'm already pulling out of the bar. Driving my feet down, keeping my breathing, and release. Now this should be pretty challenging even on its own, just getting into that setup, working the mobility, and creating that tension before we lift. So once we get into a few sets of those, you've checked your mirror, you've got your position right, back is straight, you're gonna come down and we're gonna start with that lift. So, when you're cueing yourself, I suggest that you cue from the ground upward. So, weight through the midfoot, toes down, hands just outside the hips. I'm gonna drive my knees back slightly, which raises my hips a little bit. Chest up, pull the shoulder blades back. Deep breath, drive up to the top. Nice, proud chest, I'm squeezing my butt, my abs, my quads, nice and engaged. Now, before we and when we descend, we're gonna hinge back as I pass the knees, I drop back down. Now you should be able to do a little spot check, check your positioning, drive up to the top. Hinge, knees. Now the deadlifts are really, really, really good movement to have into your workout or your routine in the week because it's very full body. It's working right the way from upper traps all the way down the back, posterior chain, glutes, hamstrings, lower back, uh, and quads in this case, okay? So it's an awesome compound lift, helps you lift heavier, and it's also a really good mental breaker to help you lift more. Okay team, so I'm gonna take you through the deadlift uh, just from a sideways uh, view, okay? Um, working through that same, same positioning, the same cues. Now, you should try to remember your cues and cue yourself every time before you lift. You also notice that this line just here, I want you to see that as a marker when we lift, we wanna keep the bar in a straight line pattern, okay? Now, a few mistakes that happen when we lift can be that the bar comes away from us. So at the top, the, the hips come out too fast and that bar comes away. So we wanna keep the bar right the way to the contours of the knee as we work that positioning. Second common mistake that I see is sequencing, okay? So we can be down into the bottom of that deadlift, we're about to lift. What happens is those hips come up first and then we pull up with the chest, okay? So sequencing, hips coming up first and we pull up with the chest. That's wrong, you'll notice now when I perform this lift, I wanna make sure that they're both working in synchronicity, okay? So, I'm gonna work into this line, just here. Should be nice and aligned from what I can see. Shins right the way up to the bar. Okay, so I'm weight is through the midfoot, big toes are down, hands are coming just outside the hips. I'm gonna drive those knees back a little bit. Hips are horizontal, shoulders back, so I'm figuratively bending that bar. Deep breath, drive up. Nice proud chest, abs tight, glutes tight, quads tight. Breathe in, hip hinge, down to the knees. Squeeze, keeping that bar nice and close to the body, maintaining that straight line. Hip hinge, bend. Awesome guys. Anyway, spend time with your lift, take your time with it, go light, work on the form. Once you get that form, you'll work through efficient movement patterns, you'll be able to lift more and safely.